Well, good morning. Um, it's probably morning in Hawaii and other parts of the world. Here in California, it's probably almost noonish lunch. And um, I just want to welcome you to Women of War. And I am just popping on for a quick word, um, which I <clears throat> was reading a couple days ago in John chapter two. And if we, if you know the story, it's talking about the wedding in Cana in the city of Galilee, where Jesus and his disciples and his mother all went to attend. Um, when they got to the wedding, they said, oh, there's no wine. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> Mary and Jesus have this little exchange and Jesus tells her, well, man, it's not my time yet, but um, Mary makes a statement. So out of that whole chapter in chapter two, and by the way, Jesus turning water, the water into wine was his first miracle in his ministry. But what stands out to me in chapter two is just, one little statement that Mary makes. And um, even though Jesus says that to her and it appears like he's not going to do anything, he's not going to help, he's not going to, you know, make wine for anybody. But G Mary tells Jesus or tells the servants, it says in um, chapter two of John that Mary tells the servants, do whatever he tells you. So I don't know if at that point Mary stayed there or walked away or what have you, but she tells the servants, do whatever he tells you. And then Jesus tells them, there's six empty clay pots, and he tells them to fill the pots with water. So they go and they fill the pots with water and they bring it back and it's served. He tells them, take it and serve it. So they serve it. And it's the finest wine they've ever tasted at that wedding. It was said, it's the finest wine. You kept the wine for the good wine for, um, you know, later. And so the whole thing from chapter two that I got was that little thing that Mary said to the servants. I keep emphasizing <laughs> servants. She told the servants to do whatever he says, do whatever Jesus says. We are all called to serve. That's what we're, that's what we're created for, to serve our creator, to serve others, you know. And so Mary's statement, do whatever he says, still applies to us today as his servants. Do whatever he says. What does Jesus say? Jesus came as the word of God. Hi, Chan. My granddaughter's watching. I miss you. Anyway, so um, we are all, we were all created to serve, to serve God, to worship him, to love him, to, to serve others, to love others. Um, so Mary's statement, instructing the servants to do whatever he says, it still rings clear for today. We are to do whatever Jesus says. When Jesus came, he came in the flesh, but he was the word in the flesh. So the word of God is what we have to do. We have to obey the word of God. We have to be doers of the word and not just hearers only. So with that, um, I just want to encourage you. So this was really quick. I just, you know, got that sort of revelation in that little clip there. I mean, just that one little verse where it still applies to us today. The word applies to us and will apply to us throughout eternity. It never changes. God never changes. He's always the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I want to encourage you to take 
go read John chapter 2 and, and see where Mary says, to the servants, which is me, you, all of us, <laughs> do as he says. So whatever the word says, let us be doers. Whatever the Holy Spirit tells us, whatever God impresses on our hearts to do, do it. Because that instruction that Mary gave to those servants still applies to us today. So, it's Saturday, and I encourage you to just be that servant. Be the servant that God has called all of us to be. Sometimes people think, I think that servants are, you know, below, but they're not. Really being servants of all is what we're called to do. And that's exactly what we should be doing. If we serve God first, serving others comes easy. Or should come easy <laughs> if we're really serving God first. So again, just as an encouragement, follow Mary's instructions. Do whatever he says. Whatever the Father says, whatever Jesus says, whatever the Holy Spirit lays upon you, do it. Amen. Well, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And my family over there that's watching, I miss you guys terribly. I love you all. Have a blessed day.